Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at making a sea turtle and shark themed epoxy resin fishing rod art. Now you can do this on any uh, fishing rod. And I've done this technique on a bunch of different things. If you go on my website DIYEasyCrafts.com, go under Coastal Living and then uh, click on Sea Turtle Crafts and you can see examples. Uh, I did the exact same technique on a cutting board as well as on a Chinese checkers board. Uh, but this is the first time I'm going to do it on a cylindrical object or, or a fishing rod. I'm going to use Maker Epoxy uh, from TotalBoat.com as the base or as the ocean waves. Um, I just bought some tint or some dye from Etsy, a variety of different blues and greens that you can pick from. I mixed up a very dark blue as the base. Now this particular rod um, has some designs at the base. I wanted to cover that up. So I'm using this dark blue uh, just as a base coat to cover that existing thread design. Uh, if you were working on a new pole and on a rod blank uh, that's blank, you don't have to have a base coat at all. Uh, next step, I'm going to add the lighter blue. And the, the end result here is I want to be able to see some of the darker blue uh, kind of, you know, behind, behind and kind of through uh, that lighter blue that I'm going to apply. But this is still all just the, the base coat. And I've got this on a rod uh, drying rack, so it's, it's constantly going to turn, which really helps preventing that uh, epoxy from dripping. I added some lighter green uh, to the very front edge. You, you can use whatever colors you want. Um, light blue would also work nicely. Uh, real important when you're doing ocean waves, you want to add some clear or clear band before you add the white. And I also dribbled some clear kind of throughout the rest of that base coat. Um, you'll find that the white, when you blow it out, um, kind of rolls over and through the clear and you just get a much better result. When applying the white, be, be very skimpy with it. Less is more. Um, it's very easy to go and add some additional white if you don't feel like you've got enough, uh, but it's really hard to get rid of, <laughs> rid of it if you added too much. So just add a very little bit of white. And then this is the ocean wave technique. I use a straw, or in this case I use the outer casing of a big pen, and I'm just going to blow out the white so that it flows through that clear. You can also spread the light blue into the dark blue a little bit. Now this is the result I got and I always keep my fingers crossed that this is gonna you know hold up through drying. I did use a heat gun not really to blow out the epoxy at all but really just to heat it up a little bit. Uh, you get better cell structure on the actual white portion of the wave uh, with a little bit of heat. Now after that dried uh, overnight I'm now ready to move on to the silhouettes. Now I cut out silhouettes of sea turtles as well as some uh, sharks on a, a silhouette cameo craft vinyl cutting machine. And I'm going to put two turtles on one side. I've got two small sharks and a, a small turtle kind of in the background on the other side. And I'm just going to apply these where I want them. I'm going to press them down. Make sure that they are completely pressed down. You don't want any of that vinyl sticking up at all. And then the, the final step is going to be to give it a good coating of uh, Pro Coat, which I got from um, mud, Mudhole.com. And this is the same uh, clear one-to-one uh, -one ratio resin that you use to coat your, um, your thread on the uh, attaching the guides to the rod blank. I'm also going to use the heat gun on this uh, just to thin out the resin a little bit and help get rid of any remaining air bubbles. Now sometimes when working with the self-adhesive vinyl uh, you will actually have to do uh, two coats of the two of the pro coats. And this is now the finished product. So very vibrant colors, you know, really stands out on the deck of a boat or when you're You've got it in a rack with other rods. It's got two sharks and a small turtle in the background on one side. And when you, when you flip the pole over, it's got two sea turtles on the other side.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it if you just took a minute and left a comment in the comment section. And by all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. I've got a whole bunch of different nautical, boating, uh, and fishing related do-it-yourself crafts on there. Thank you very much for watching.